Dear brothers and sisters, good day to all of you. In the last two weeks, we have all had to experience a movement control order. And this had made some people are very unhappy and some people are happy. So I felt it is my duty to address you on how to go through this difficult time. Firstly, we have to be serene, be calm and be mindful. We have to take care of ourselves in body, mind and spirit. Find a quiet corner of your home and spend a few minutes reflecting on oneself. Share and radiate your loving kindness to yourself, your family and neighbors, and to those who are working around the clock to keep us safe. Focus your mind on good and positive thought. Tell yourself the coronavirus pandemic can be overcome. We have to be mindful of when we receive the messages on social media and online news. We have to be careful and go through all the proper information and only pick the positive and uplifting news like a patient recovering from COVID-19 virus. Doctors and nurses who serve selflessly to find relief for the patients. Good-hearted people who go out of the, their way to help other less fortunate people. This brings peace and happiness to our mind. Always have positive thought in your mind. Tell yourself that it can be better again with this simple reflection. Now we think ourselves. I am thankful for this home that keeps me safe and secure. I am thankful for the people who I love and who love and respect me too. I am thankful for this home which is filled with the peace, happiness and laughter. I am thankful for the abundant food, clean water to hydrate and cleanse myself. I am thankful for the good health that I enjoy today. I am thankful for the medicine that keep away from illnesses. I am thankful for this body which is healthy and allow me to move about. We should also be grateful and have a compassionate heart towards the less fortunate, those going through a difficult time now and have a prayer for them. I pray for those who are ill to recover and be back with their families. I pray for the frontliners who risk their life to help those in critical condition. I pray for those who may not have enough to support themselves and their families with basic necessity and hope that we can assist them in a small way. I pray for those who separated and cut off from their loved ones due to unfortunate circumstances and to be reunited with them. I also pray for our government leaders and healthcare professionals to have a clear vision and have sound advice to lead us out of this difficult time. Finally, I send my prayers 
and sympathies to families who have departed relatives and who would not be able to have a proper funeral ceremony. With the monks at the Buddhist Mahavihara are constantly conducting prayers for all our devotees and supporters. They recite the Ratana Sutta for blessing every evening at 7.30 p.m. at the main shrine hall. If you are free, please do join us on Facebook to follow the chanting. At the same time, to reflect on the teaching of our Lord Buddha, do some reading or view some videos online like BME Dhammadana YouTube channel and get closer to the Dhamma. Buddha has mentioned everything is impermanent. So too is this pandemic. It is also impermanent. We will get out of this difficult time together in due course. Be happy, be mindful, be confident, be safe. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you.